it's time for the final part in this tutorial series. We're on step nine in this packet tracer activity that I created for my students. We're going to be working with router R3. So I'll open up the router and open up the window a little bit. Type enable, conf t to get to global configuration mode, and I'll bring up the instructions. So configure the following on R3. Password minimum length 10 characters. I'll type security, pass, and hit the tab key. Passwords min tab min dash length. So security passwords min dash length 10. And now I'll say encrypt all passwords. Okay, encrypt all passwords. Service pass hit the tab key password dash encryption so that encrypts all passwords banner message of the day no unauthorized access allowed with an exclamation point banner m o t d quotation marks no unauthorized access allowed the exclamation point and then end quotes We'll take a look over here the administrative user account so we're going to create a user account on the local database a username of admin and a secret pass of dance courses all right let's do that username admin secret dance courses all right that sets a local database user named admin with a password of dance courses encrypted. We enable secret on the router to class 12345. Enable secret class 12345. A named access list named in all caps admin dash management. Instead of access list we say IP access-list to get to named access list, we have to specify whether it's a standard or extended ACL. If we look at the instructions, we can see that this ACL, named access list admin desk management, is going to permit only a host, the host PC-admin, remote telnet access. Since we're only permitting a source address, this can be a standard ACL. So IP access list standard and then the name admin dash mgt that puts us in standard named access list mode and then permit host and we can see the host is pc dash admin 192.168.88.10 you can see it there the orange box one nine two dot one six eight dot eighty eight dot ten all right and that's finished exit now we need to configure console zero and line vty zero to four to use our local database for logins to time out after five minutes of inactivity and on the vty we want to apply that access list that we just created admin dash management then we're going to save the running configuration. Let's do that now. Line console zero. Login local to use the local database for logins. Exec, hit the tab key, dash timeout, five minutes, zero seconds. Then line VTY zero space four. And it's the same thing. Login local. Exec timeout after five minutes, zero seconds. And we want to apply the access list. So we'll say IP ACC tab access dash class to apply the access list. Then the name of it admin dash MGT inbound. Finished. Exit exit again and copy run start 
Okay, we're all finished. And that finishes this packet tracer activity. Now you can run through and test everything. You can see, and there is a small error here, on the PT activity, the completion only shows completion 95%. I have found that the completion rate on all of the things that are graded in the activities does not always play nice. So, for instance, if we check the results and look at the assessment items, it says that PC1 and PC2 have the incorrect default gateway and DNS server information, but I know for a fact that if we close this and look at PC1 and PC2, they have in fact picked up the correct addresses. You can see 192.168.15.6 and 192.168.35.253 is the correct address information. The green VLAN is the 15 VLAN. The DNS server is at 35.253 and 15.1 would be the correct gateway. So that's all correct information even though the grading tool says it isn't. So there's a few things in here that if you want to play around and clear your OSPF router processes and you want to go double check all of the uh, check your results and go back and check you'll see that we've actually configured everything that we needed to configure it's just the completion rate is only so showing 95 percent but I'm very confident that the activity is in fact finished so congratulations we went through all nine steps and thank you for those of you who followed along with the tutorial I hope to create another one for the third installment of the new CCNA 5.0 curriculum scaling networks